Today I want to talk about uh, product development, how to develop a product, not the engineering process, but uh, if you have an idea that is a product, how would you go from uh, the idea to the product to minimize all the mistakes that may happen along the way? And also um, add, if you want to add software or what they call firmware with the product that works with the product, uh, the process. So um, when I first started developing the mobile solar kiosk, I used a company called uh, Elance.com, E-L-A-N-C-E.com. So that's where you find all the freelancer around the world. You know, there's also Guru.com, G-U-R-U. Dot com, and you can post your idea, and people come and 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 bid uh, to your idea. Now, if you don't know the process, they're not most likely not going to tell you. It's understandable because you know for what you pay for, it, they have you know they take short shortcut. And I was really cheap at the time. I didn't understand. I was very naive about product development, so I was trying to develop as quickly as possible. In my head, was, it should be simple. It's a box with a battery system, et cetera, et cetera. I didn't understand about design, manufacturing design, et cetera, et cetera. So there's a long process. So the first step you have to do, you have to ask for, is a product development document. That document everything that is done on that product. All the different parts, components, et cetera, et cetera. Why is it important? Well, that document, even though you're not an engineer, if you decide to go with another company, you can take that document. They already know what you worked on, what you're using, et cetera, et cetera, instead of having them to start from scratch. Any issue you may have, it's on the document. Any changes you need to do, it's on that document. You can, you know, you can truly monitor uh, the process and, and, and the different steps of that um, product lifetime to that document. So it's very important that you ask whoever you're gonna work with and ask what is the process. I always ask now, well, what is the process that you go through? And if they don't mention that to me, they show that they're not serious or they don't know, you know the real process that it takes. So those are the process. And um, another thing is a lot of time, you're not gonna find a one-stop shop product development company. I've looked, I've checked. Um, there's a lot of companies, most of them specialize into something specific. Now, it's much better to find a product development company through referrals, just like anything else. Manufacturing, same thing. But if you don't, then you have to ask as many questions as possible, ask their background, check what they've worked on, and make sure they specialize in what you, you're trying to develop. You know, if it's solar or if it's uh, whatever the case is, make sure that they're, they're familiar. Also, depending on the market you want to bring that product to, they have to, you know, some type of familiarity with with that market uh, place. So you have to do a lot of research, a lot of questions, talk to them. One of the, the, the things I, I request the most is, is communication. I have to be able to send an email and get a response as quickly as possible. You, you're going to find out that it sounds simple, but some of those guys work with so many projects, they don't have time, they don't implement a team around you because maybe you're not spending the right amount of money that they're looking for. So I, 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 I recommend also you work with a smaller team or a smaller company or a company that specializes to work with smaller you know, uh, startup or small companies. Because the big ones, they'll, first of all, they'll, they'll give you a crazy price. I've, I've heard numbers that doesn't make any sense. And, and second of all, you know, they, they work, not necessarily the quality will be affected, but they, they, the energy they put in will depend on how much money you're spending. So you have to go through a lot of research and development, uh, finding the, that company. And if, you, if you're looking for... Um, a firmware company also, that will be separate. But the key thing is, since you're not going to find a company that uh, has all the different knowledge, for example, you need a product development uh, document uh, developed, then you need 
uh, 3D design prototyping. And also you need uh, to build the prototype. Then you need to do small scale manufacturing to test the prototype in the environment. Then you need to, to blow up the scales of the manufacturing. You're not going to find a company that's a lot that able to do all those things at once. But wh one thing I've noticed is a lot of those companies work with other companies that have those capabilities. So you want to find that company, not only that is small, that works with small companies or startups, but also has a lot of contact in the manufacturing world, contact in, in the firmware uh, uh, um, game for software. Uh, contact in, in who can look for content because they're going to be the lead developer and meaning they're going to take the lead and find all those contacts for you so you want to minimize your work because you're not the expert remember you know you have to find expertise so you minimize the risk and at the end of the day you have to find somebody who really believe in your product really see potential because even though you're paying for them you know, it's also helpful to find that um, because they passion, they'll be passionate and they'll, you know, they'll really put their full knowledge into the project. Um, so those websites, Elance and Guru, and you can find LinkedIn and do Google search and, and don't rush into that. So those companies will have all those content. They will take the lead. So what I mean by lead is any issue that may happen is no longer your responsibility. Instead of you trying to find all those different components yourself, you find a one a company that will take the lead and find everything you need to put that product together. And then from there, any issue that happened is their responsibility, not yours. So it will not come out your pocket. It's very, very important because if you if you bootstrapping, you know, you don't want to stop dealing with four or five companies, then they have to communicate with each other which usually it's a big mess, you know, especially if in different country, time zone, you don't want to get into that. Uh, pro I promise you do not want to get into that. You want to find one company that has all the contact that you need, or all the relation that you're looking for to make that product live, whether it's on the firmware aspect, manufacturing aspect, et cetera, et cetera. Then at the end of the day, you get a prototype, you do your own testing, you do your own evaluation, and then you move from there. Most of the time, the first prototype is never the right one. You have to go to two, three prototypes before uh, you get the right product. We're on our fourth one, and we're working on the fifth one. And of course, as the market evolves, especially nowadays, technology moves so fast, you're always going to have to be on, 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 the, on the forefront of technology. So you're always going to have to improve your product, et cetera, et cetera. So you, you, you're building a relationship with that company. And... I'm, I'm going through a, a fourth product development company because of the things I've learned. I learned a lot of things the hard way. I've lost a lot of money because I didn't know those things I'm sharing with you. So if you want to develop a product, I recommend you look, you know, you, 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 uh, you watch this video, but also do other research because there, there's a lot of YouTube videos out there that are more detailed into the engineering side that it takes on the product and what, what it takes to be. You know, this video is more for somebody who's not an engineer, looking, have an idea, trying to bring this product to life and to minimize those mistakes. And um, if, if you have any specific question, you know, just shoot me an email. Thank you.